going on, YouTubers? This is a quick update on my media shower core. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. And I've never, ever seen the polyps extend. I thought actually it was dying. And uh, just now, as I dropped some mysis shrimp in there, and I was feeding the tank, and the polyps were extended tremendously. I didn't even know that it had polyps like that. It's the orange tips, which right there, they, they actually expanded out. I was amazed anyway I just thought I'd share that with you guys my Fabia is coming back um, pretty strong he's all the way back here right there I'm constantly putting hermit crabs to eat the um the hair algae that's growing on them because I turned up the light my um mushrooms are opening up I can't wait till they split and just take over that whole entire corner that uh, leather is growing like crazy. The pops are always extended now. My um, pulsating zania, pulsing zania is starting to expand. Got them a couple of days ago as a gift from a fellow reefer. And um, but yeah, it's starting to expand and stretch out, which is pretty cool. Still got my little blood shrimp. This colony is insane. This there's always some crazy activity going on back here. I don't know what that thing is back there. Uh, sometimes I swear it's where the baby uh, snails are coming from. Um, it's just the weirdest thing. It's always like a film. If you could see it, uh, it's more like a gel-based cocoon type hovering over the, it's just crazy. Uh, still got my brittle star, he's been around for a long time. So yeah guys, uh, my Kenya tree is making a comeback. Starting to stretch out and expand. Right now he closed up to grab whatever food he possibly can, but so that Monty came back. I don't know if it's a coral line that's growing on that that Monty or is the Monty itself trying to grow back. But if it is, man, it's beautiful. It's bright pink. Now my other Monty Pora has started to encrust itself on the back. I'm hoping it just disc out and grow all over the rocks. Yeah, guys, the tank is doing fairly well. My parameters are, are great. Um, I just tested the water yesterday. My pH was kind of low. I'm trying to bring it up, so I started using baking soda. Um, I did an uh, overnight drip. Actually, I gotta test it again right now before I leave to work, but. Yeah, everything's starting to. I'm, just, I'm in love with this colony here, man. I don't even wanna jinx it. I, it's just beautiful. It's like blue flower, flower pot coral with <laughs> star polyps. And now the star polyps are starting to grow beneath it, which is great. Cause I wanted to spread like a plague. These gorgonias, they bounce back. They were doing a little bit bad on the bottom, the stem. You can't see it cause the lighting and whatnot. But uh, he's looking nice and fat. And this pally should have been split by now. I don't understand if it's uncomfortable or, or what's going on. But I see it's got his feeding tentacles way out and. He's doing his thing. It's like, yeah, he has something coming out of his little mouth, and it's like a long shoestring. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in and do an autofocus. Yeah, right there. 
So he's feeding. He just hasn't grown and split. My Alafas told me that those things are somewhat poisonous, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, this this right here, man, is just and the the bad thing is that my camera can't even capture the actual color. So the flower pots, the flower coral is like a dark blue, and then you got your you know your star polyps neon green with the LED bouncing off of it. So this frag rack was definitely a good investment because it, it gave my zoanthus the opportunity to somewhat thrive and get nice and fat and do what their thing. And, yeah, I'm still amazed by that. That meteor shower core back there is looking awesome, man. Yeah, I don't know if you can try to focus on it. Yeah, this is all for now, guys.